All right, guys. So here's another little simple um, trading model slash trading lecture I want to give out to you guys. Um, it is based off of ICT concepts as well, but it might be something that that's either new to you or something you might have forgotten about um, that I can simply just remind you of, and it's really powerful and very important. So during my last YouTube video, you guys um, saw me mark out equilibrium of the dollar index weekly range and then i put a line on there and i showed you guys how they would use that equilibrium level which is 50 percent of the high and low of the range and they would use that that equilibrium level as a magnet okay and if you look right here um the fib range is drawn from the body lows and the body highs if you look right here where this arrow is showing, that's equilibrium. Look how the market, exactly how I taught it on the last video, and I showed you guys the example, same thing. Look how they are playing with this level. This candle right here, this um, dark bearish candle, the high closed below the wick, or that 50% level. This candle here, the body closed below it, this candle is right here touching it this candle's wick touches it if you look all in here there's a bunch of candle wicks touching it and a bunch of candle body closures at that level if you look right here there's a bunch of touches of that level and then you go down then they touch it here then we break out above it so the the teaching of this video is once prior to breaking out so before we break out of a range Nine out of ten times, they're going to come back down to equilibrium and tap that level and then break out of the trading range. And if you look at um, the DXY weekly chart, everything that I just showed you here happened on that weekly range. And you can go to, like I said, you can go to the last um, YouTube video I gave out last week. Um, I showed you guys the equilibrium level on the weekly chart, and I showed you how the candles were messing with that level with wicks and bo candle body closures and all that. So before we break out, they come back down, tap equilibrium, then they break out. So with that being said, we're going to go over here to Euro USD. Okay. So this giant up day right here was CPI. Okay. After CPI and after huge daily ranges like that, we expect the market to kind of either retrace or kind of move sideways and build in more liquidity, engineer more um, liquidity. So after CPI happened, I told my private group, you know, the next, the rest of the week is going to be sideways. And that's exactly kind of what we saw. But I did take a trade on Friday that I gave out that I was bullish euro on Friday. And I'm about to show you why. So here we're consolidating, just like that um, consolidation picture, that image we just talked about the first half of the video. So I'm going to take my fib. I'm going to draw it from the high of Thursday down to the low of Friday. Because if you look left, we are inside of that range. Okay, then I'm going to mark equilibrium. Y'all aren't ready for this. So here's 50%. So there's equilibrium of this trading range right here, okay? So this is a consolidation. And then all I did was the high of the consolidation and the low of the consolidation. Then I put a horizontal line on 50%, okay? Why didn't you use the FIB up here? Well, it's because I did this prior to this move happening, prior to the breakout, okay? So price looked like this, okay? And it had equilibrium already noted on my chart. What's the teaching say? The teaching says that once we, before we break out of this consolidation, they're gonna tick equilibrium. I noticed how they played with the level and I was buying equilibrium right here. So with this, candle right here this giant bullish candle with a large displacement higher 
right before New York Open. As soon as they closed right there, I waited for price to come back down and start stabbing into equilibrium. Okay. This is where I bought. You can also blend that with, obviously, probably a five-minute buy side on balance. Or an OTE from swing low here to the swing highs here. OTE, optimal trade entry, with an order block, which is this last down close candle prior to this bullish move. So this bear candle is the order block extended out in time. You have an OTE. You have an order block. We have equilibrium level of the trading range. So this was the buy right here. And then I just targeted old highs. There, that order block looks a lot better on the 15-minute chart. So my buy was this fair value gap and the order block and the OTE. Most importantly, this horizontal line is equilibrium of the range. Prior to breaking out of the range, they're going to tap equilibrium. Like I just showed you on the previous... Um, slide at the beginning of this video. How do you know that level is important? Well, look how they played with that level all throughout the trading range. They're taking it here, taking it here. They're using it as resi resistance here. And then once we break above it, they use it as support here. So we broke through it here. And coincidentally, they blend it with an OTE, a fair value gap, and an order block, and then broke higher. So that was my buy on Friday, and then I got rewarded. All right, guys, I'm going to record this quick um, GBP USD recap of the trade I took this morning on Monday morning. So what I have here on the chart is the one-hour cable time frame of all of last week's range. So I want you guys to note it was just a real tight consolidation range. Um, I have the replay button hit back, so you cannot see today's trading, which is Monday. So first things first, when you have a range-bound market, you want to note that range from the lowest low to the highest high, and you want to note equilibrium of that range, okay? So we have that here. That's what this line right here is going to be. It's equilibrium of last week's range from the low to the high. So I'm going to... Well, first things first, I want to um, draw your attention to this. Note how little time they spent below 50%, also known as equilibrium. They did not spend much time below that, so that's a discount buy for the algorithm and smart money. And every time they did dip below that, they immediately rallied up because they don't want to spend a lot of time in a discount to give other people a chance to buy it at a cheaper price. So when you think of supply and demand, think about it like that. When you think about that Xbox 360 or that house and real estate, um, the house is very cheap. They don't want to have it cheap for a long time. Then everyone's going to jump on it. So that's the same principle I'm outlining here. Anything below 50% is a discount. And they don't. Smart money does not want to stay in a discount for a long period of time. I also want you guys to note how they played with that level. Look at the touches of these candles. Look at the body closures of the candles. Um, look at the closures here. Look at the wicks. Look at the wicks. Um, this one barely missed it by a hair. Look at the body closure here. Look at the wicks. Look at the touches. So this is last Monday's trading, and this was last Friday's trading. It was a tight, consolidated market. And real quick, let me draw your attention to this picture I have which also illustrates the concept I am implementing. So this is an ICT teaching, obviously. Consolidation markets, he did the same thing. He drew a fib from the highest high to the lowest low. You know equilibrium. Before we break out of a range in a consolidated market, they're going to want to come down to equilibrium, which is just 50%, the halfway midpoint of the range. And if you look right here, they tick equilibrium, and then they break out of the range. So that's the teaching here. So now let's go back to our cable chart. So here's equilibrium. But the, the key takeaway point is you have to be thinking to yourself. You know, you have to know what you're doing, um, you know, as, along the lines of them 
barely coming down below equilibrium, and when they do, they skyrocket it up. Look at the amount of time they spent above equilibrium all of last week. People were buying this. This is the wrong place to be a buyer at. You want to buy below equilibrium, so you're getting that discount cheapest price. So that's very interesting. I'm going to take the fib off now to clean up the chart. So now we're going to think of PD arrays, okay? So the first PD array that jumps off to me, where can we be a buyer at, guys? Where can we be a buyer? Well, the chart I just showed you on, on the consolidation thing for ICT, ICT's teaching, before they break out, they're going to want to come back down to equilibrium. I want you guys to note how ironic is it that here's equilibrium and what lines up perfect with equilibrium. We have a low here. Price takes out the low, and then they break up higher. You draw your attention to the breaker candle, which is this candle, this specific candle right here. This bullish candle prior to the run lower that breaks out the lows here. They come back up. They close above equilibrium. So now coming into that new week, we want to be a buyer at equilibrium, which is this line. But it also blends with our PD array, the bullish breaker, which is a very strong entry pattern. So those two things blend together perfectly. I told my group I'd be risking 3 to 4% on this buy. This is the type of buy you want to take to pass those prop firm challenges to make that money. It's a high probability trade. So now we're going to hit play. Monday opens. And then we're going to note time of day. What time of day did they hit that level? They're coming down. You might be getting scared, but no. This is when I told my group to buy, and it's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's a kill zone, the heart of London open. They tick equilibrium, which is this horizontal line, and then they tick the bullish breaker, which everyone knows what that is. But my eyes are better and more fine-tuned to the legit breakers than everyone else's. I know a breaker when I see one, and that lines up with the consolidation, the equilibrium, Price took out the lows, so all sell side was purged. We're in a discount down here. They hit the, they hit the breaker, which is also equilibrium, and now we're going up. And it's 3 a.m., 3 o'clock in the morning. That's the heart of London Open. That is our kill zone. So now we're trusting it. And we bought it, and now we're going higher. So our attention goes to old highs. This one. These up here, this one right here, but I'm not going to draw a line right there, but yeah. So they can start retracing. That's fine, but you don't get freaked out of the trade. Why? Because we're trusting the equilibrium breakout. And there we have it. Equilibrium, bullish breaker, swing low, swing high, discount, breaker. Now we're going higher to attack buy side liquidity. And I believe the rest of the week we're going to see upside on cable. That should be the weekly low. They should. There's no reason for it to come back down below that, and if they do, then odds are we're going to stay in a tight, um, scrunched up consolidation again. But I believe we're done. I believe we're going to go higher. Um, if you guys have watched my last cable video, I don't know if it was on YouTube or if it was for my private people, but I believe we are moving higher. Do you want to fill in? This monthly premium sell side of balance up here. Um, real quick, we're coming off of this discounted monthly buy side of balance, which is all up in here. The past three to four months did not close inside of that buy side of balance. Look at the closures of the bodies right here. Now we're going higher. So that's a higher target. Woody. All right. Done. Someone's cut in the yard. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, that's it, guys. My son just crashed my room, and he is interrupting the video, but that was all I wanted to say. All right, guys. Here is another example I used in real time. I am using the replay button here, but I did have a private commentary this was actually um in my quarter three group we were doing this live so this one we were looking for upside because <clears throat> K 
cable was moving very bullishly off of this breaker right here. When we come back down, tapped into this bullish breaker right here, we were attacking equal highs up here. Um, this was really gangster price action. Um, this was back in March when I was calling this bullish um, cable and um, completely destroyed the market. Um, going higher, higher, higher. So after we took out highs, we're going sideways. So the lesson in this video, like I did beginning this video, we're talking about equilibrium. So if we're still bullish on this pair and the market starts to range, before we can break out of a range, what am I teaching? I'm teaching that price has to come back and reprice at equilibrium before going higher, okay? So after we, took, after we took out those highs, this market starts to range sideways. We don't know when they're going to break out. Um, I should have hit that replay button a little bit sooner. I didn't want to show this breakout. But anyways, so I'm going to take the swing high here down to the swing low here. Why am I using this high and not this one? Because... This is the most recent one. I meant to hit the replay button back farther prior to this expansion right here. So this is the high. I'm taking it down to the low here. And we're going to note equilibrium. That is here. Actually, this low down here is the lowest one of the range. So it would actually be right here. So equilibrium is right here. So we're going to take our fib off. So we have equilibrium of this swing low here and this swing high here. That's our dealing range. We are trading inside of that range. The market starts to move sideways. We are in a consolidation. So what am I teaching? I'm teaching you guys to... When we start getting in that range and that consolidation, once you identify we're in a consolidation, you note equilibrium of that range. You want to note how price is playing with that level um, right here. So first things first, over here on the very left side, we have candle body closures. We have a wick here. We have a wick here. We have some tap of that level right here, another wick right here this candle closes above it we have a huge displacement below the level now we just broke below and closed below equilibrium of their range so now what are they going to do with that level they're going to use that level as resistance right here boom there's another chopping ranging all in that level they come lower they come up before we break out of a range they always come to equilibrium right here. We have displacement higher, so they so they are showing a willingness to move higher again. They consolidate and then they come down to equilibrium of that overall range. Note how equilibrium here before they break out with this displacement higher. They blended equilibrium with this buy side imbalance and this sell side imbalance, mainly the buy side imbalance. So the market looks to fill in the buy side imbalance. It looks to hit equilibrium and then break out higher. So all in all, if you guys want to dig deeper into this concept, now you know how. Now you know what to look for. And now you know how to do it on your own. So every time moving forward, when the market starts to range and consolidate, no matter what time frame you're on, always note equilibrium.